more. Anyway, the, we got a beer today from uh, one of my uh, closest friends. He is a switch, a neutral like I do. Um, he's from uh, BFM, Jerome Rebate. And this is his 2010 Appy de Saint Bon Chien. And um, it's supposed to be a blend of, uh, or, or he aged in 11 different barrels. And then he blended in this 2010 Bon Chien, which is, I think, one of the best uh, wild slash sour beer in the world. So uh, we're gonna give it a rating today and see how it tastes, because I have taste. 04, 05, 06, 07, 08, 09, 010, what? 09, and this is the 010 that we're gonna taste, so we're gonna give it a taste. So it's supposed to be uh, very white-ish like, so the last, I mean, of all the bonchin I, I've tasted, it's very white-ish taste, because of course, uh, Jerome have his degree in as a winemaker. So he's gonna make his beer just like the way he make his wine. He's gonna blend the beer with just the right balance of taste. So it's uh, 11%, so this is gonna be heavy, 11%. Uh, Abney Sanborn Chin is actually uh, named after his cat. He have a cat, but it passed away. And his cat, his cat name is Bon Chin. So, so the cat passed away. So he named it Saint Bon Chin. So uh, we're gonna give this beer a little rating. Oh wow, pull out like almost flat, with uh, very little carbonation. So tell me, it's very wine-ish like. So uh, if guys, if you want, you guys wanna do a little tasting. Sure. Get that. John and Chris here, we're going to taste the best of what Jerome have given to us. Yo guys, okay. Uh, very brackish water, like rustic, dirty water. Oh, uh, in a nicer way, a uh, copper, dark cup color. So, And a uh, very low in combination. So we're going to give our nose a little treat. Well, it's very woody, very soundness. It got a little funkiness to it. Guys, did you get a little funky, guys? Oh, a lot of fun. All right. A little woody, caramel woody, uh, sour cherry. Wow, very, very complex aroma. Very complex. Amazed me how he blended 11 different uh, wine barrels. Oh, I, I believe there's half the wine barrel, half like spirit barrel, but it, it's so incredibly balanced when he blend them in. To me, there's only two, two brewmaster in the world that I know that blend well, that, are, that have wine uh, background, uh, Jerome Rebete of BFM and uh, Vinny of Brisson River. So they have great wine background and they blend the beer just like the way they blend the wine, it's just awesome. Okay, so we got uh, woody, caramel, sourness, cherry tart, and maybe like four or five years old uh, cherry skin. Not six, four or five years old. <laughs> okay, so we're going to give our total treat. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. Woo! Good sour, good tartness. Uh, very caramel, woody. And it's very wine-ish. Is that very wine-ish, guys? Yeah, very wine-ish. Very wine-ish. To me, it's more like a port of beer. But it got the sourness from the front to the middle to the back. It got caramel. Uh, woody, the tart cherry, it's incredible balance. It reminds me of uh, Vinny of Russian, uh, Russian River, how he blends his beer. This is incredible. Mm. It's a wine mouthfeel to it. Oh, wow. 
and it does got this wow funky um, taste uh, right at the end, right at the finish. It's incredible. Wow. That is incredible. Uh, the last time I ran to Jerome was in Belgium. I uh, went to the uh, Alvin Beer Fest and, uh, and he was there, he was pulling his beer. And the beer was pulled with his uh, stout. And, um, and I, I, uh, I entered the door and suddenly he, he, he saw me, ran to me and said, Hey, are you crazy Asian guy? I, I can't believe you're here. You know, it's just this, it's, a, it's, it's a crazy Asian guy meet a crazy Swiss guy and then we drink all night long. And we even went out back and, you know, smoked a little good uh, Belgium uh, cigarette. So, cheers to you, Jerome. Mmm. Wow. That is incredible. Um, to me, it, um, it, it's really good, but um, I think last year, the 09, was, I think, was just a little better than this year. Uh, the 09, I gave it a little 99. But uh, this is just not as up to 99, but I think it's very, very, very close to it. So uh, this will be a 98. Uh, this will be uh, that high in my list. It's just incredibly good. Uh, you know, it's just a, it's, it's a blend of 10, 11 different oak barrel, and, and it come out to be this balance, this good. It's, uh, you know, it's a job not easy to be done, so. Would you age this one too? Oh man, this one will be it's aged it's that like wine. crazy, yeah. 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 How, and how long, you mentioned last uh, week that you could age that one pretty long. This one, pretty long time too? Um, you know, uh, I still have, you know, 04 and 05 Bon Chien at home, and it still tastes incredibly good. So even, you know, even 06 right now tastes real, uh, real well. So I think four or five years is where the pick is to taste this beer. It's real good. But then, you know, after that, it, it slowly, slowly be downhill a little bit, but it would still be good. It's, it's still got that sound, it's that tartness. That stretch out the beer, so it's a great beer. So uh, overall, it's a uh, beer 98 for the for the 2010 Abbey Saint Bon Chien. So great job again, Jerome. You the man. So uh, can't wait for uh, next year, 2010 Abbey the Saint Bon Chien. So until then, I will be over to switch next year and uh, see you. So remember, beer is the answer, guys. Peace out.